Dr. Modlag, thank you for joining us here on Health Connection. Nice to have you again. Thank you. Our topic, it, the title here is real interesting, Tummy Tuck, When Sit-Ups Just Won't Do the Job. And the first question, plastic surgery used to be considered something for the rich and famous, and we know the Hollywood stars do it all the time. Is that still the case? It's really not the case. It's for the common person. Um, we see very few uh, rich and famous folks. Uh, most people are middle class. Some of them even have to finance their procedure, so that's, it's very common nowadays among the masses. How common is the procedure that we call a tummy tuck, and do both men and women have them? Yeah, it's probably in the top five most common procedures done in the United States. Um, mostly it's for women because of childbearing, but some men also do it uh, after massive weight loss, for example. Describe it. What is the procedure? A tummy tuck is done with you asleep and it takes about three to four hours depending on the individual. Um, we make an incision down low in the bikini area from hip to hip. Um, we remove a football amount shape of skin and fat from the lower abdomen. Then I put the muscles back together in the midline to tighten the abdomen and keep your belly button where it is. We uh, thin out the top portion of the flap and pull it down like a curtain pop the belly button through and sew it back up. Then we sew back the main incision and put a couple of drain tubes in. All right. Are there medical reasons to have a tummy, tummy tuck besides the obvious cosmetic reason? Occasionally there's a reason for doing it. It's, uh, the procedure is called a paniculectomy and that's where there's a big apron of skin and fat hanging down. Sometimes you can get yeast buildup in that fold or skin breakdown and occasionally insurance will pay for something like that. Well, aside from that patient, who else might be a candidate for a tummy tuck? Usually tummy tuck patient candidates are women who've had multiple uh, children um, with loose abdomens, excess skin, or those who've had massive weight loss. In other words, 80 to 200 pounds of weight loss, and they just have a massive amount of excess skin. You've explained it, but let's put some color on it. Explain the process for someone who's interested in a tummy tuck. What's the first step? Sure. The first step is to phone us or contact us by email um, to make an appointment for a consultation. In the consultation, we talk to them, get a medical history, a surgical history, see what kind of surgeries they've had on the abdomen, ask them if they have any hernias, how many children they've had, do a thorough exam of their entire body, including the abdomen, and then talk about what's good for them, see if they're actually a candidate for them for the procedure. Let's talk about preparation, the process prior to the procedure. What do you have to do ahead of time? Ahead of time, um, you have to be in fairly good shape with not too many medical problems. If there's some medical problems associated with that person, they need, they need to get a preoperative medical clearance from their doctor, such as if they have diabetes or heart disease or if they've had some recent surgery, um, then we want to make sure that they're cleared for surgery by their uh, cardiologist or their primary care doctor. Is, you said this, it's done under full anesthesia. What's the recovery time, the yeah. convalescence? I think the recovery time is pretty rapid. The first week is a little bit difficult because of the pain associated with it. And by the way, I inject the muscles and the incision with a numbing medicine that lasts up to three days, which we didn't have prior to two years ago. So that's wonderful. It takes the pain away quite a bit. So first week is a little bit difficult. Then second week gets a little bit better. By the third week, I have most of my patients able to do even light exercises. And then when we get to past the third week up to the sixth week, things get easier and easier. So when they hit the six week mark, I tell them that they can do any type of physical activities in unrestricted fashion. So it's a pretty quick ramp up from there. Once the healing process is complete, let's talk about scarring. Is it noticeable or do you work to minimize it? Yeah, the way I put the scar is down low in the bikini area so that if they were to wear a bikini or underwear, nobody would see it. So it's strategically placed and then one going around the belly button as well. In your experience, what happens with patients after they've had the procedure? What's the most common reaction and what advice do you give to someone who's considering this procedure? The most common reaction is I wish I've, I've had this done earlier um, because it's such, it can be such a dramatic uh, change for that person to go from excess skin and excess fat to a flat tummy, something that they've never had before, before having kids, for example, or before the massive weight loss. So usually it's, it's uh, euphoria or being ecstatic and being very happy and grateful for the most part. That's, that's what we see. You mentioned this earlier. Let's talk about expense. What does it cost approximately? A tummy tuck costs approximately $10,000. All 
okay. the reason for that expense is that you're paying for the surgeon expertise and experience. You're paying to have it done in a proper facility with proper anesthesiologists and nurse anesthetists and then proper care afterwards because the patients stay overnight in the hospital for some care as well. Very well. Doctor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.